Aren't sanctions a funny old thing? You know, we talk in the West about sanctions and yet we continue, I say we, I mean the Germans really, continue to pay Russia nearly a billion dollars a day for gas and oil. But, of course, in this country, we've taken things rather more seriously. The All England Tennis Club, yes, the hosts of the annual Wimbledon tennis competition, have decided today, in their infinite wisdom, that they will ban male and female competitors from Russia and Belarus from taking part in the tournament at all. The French Open haven't taken that opinion. And I just wonder about all of this because, of course, they've got some really rather good players. Daniel Medvedev, well, he's a rather good player. He's the second ranked seed currently in the world. He got through to the fourth round of Wimbledon last year. And Anna Sabalenka, the female player, got through to the semi finals last year. And there are other very good Russian and Belarusian players. Is it right that they're banned from taking part in Wimbledon? Well, here's my thought on it. This is not the Olympics. This is not the Davis Cup. These players are not representing their country. They're representing themselves. They just happen to come from a country that is not in favour at the moment. And we can go back through history and we can find national representative teams being banned from all sorts of events. In modern times, I can think of no parallel. Think back to when South Africa were shut out of world cricket, shut out of world rugby. Yet Gary Player, who was South African, continued to play in the British Open, continued to play on the US tour, because he was there representing himself, not representing the nation that he came from. And I just think we're taking this way too far. If we start to ban individuals on the basis of their nationality, dare I say it, even their race, where does this all end up. I think this is over the top. I think it's wrong. And, and it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter whether these players condemn the invasion of, of Ukraine or not. Some will, some won't. Imagine if you're a sports player, you want to play in Wimbledon, your mum and dad are getting on a bit, living in Moscow. Are you really, are you really going to condemn the Putin regime and put them in danger? And actually, should anybody ever ask you, to be in that position. So I am really, really disturbed by this. I think it's wrong. I think it's over the top. And as I say, all the while the Germans <laughs> keep on buying huge amounts of gas and oil. What does it all mean? I think the All England Club have got this wrong. I want to know what you think, please. Tell me, is it right? Is this right to ban these tennis players. Farage at gbnews.uk. I don't expect there to be any shortage of opinions coming in.